What's going on, everybody? It's AG here. Let's go ahead and start previewing the games for next week. We've got a really good slate here with some really good games. They're going to have playoff implications and conference championship implications. Next game we're going to look at is Ohio State and Oregon. Really good matchup here in the Big Ten. First matchup for Oregon and Ohio State in the Big Ten as well. So it's first time that they've been conference foes going at it. These are arguably the two best teams right now in the Big Ten. I guess you could throw Penn State in the hat there. But as of right now, this is the big game for these two. Both teams, a lot to play for with Georgia and Alabama losing. The winner of this is probably moving up to number two. Ohio State's probably already going to be number two by the time we get the next week. But matchup predictor-wise, looks like Ohio State is favored 60%. Let's talk about Ohio State first off. They've looked pretty solid so far this year, done what they need to do. Struggled a little bit today against Iowa in the first half, but ended up closing out with a W there. But so far... Akron 52 to 6, Western Michigan 56 nothing, Marshall 49 14, and then Michigan State and Iowa pretty close there 38 7, 35 7. They've looked the part. Quinchon Junkins and Travion Henderson, that running back, really good duo there. They've got some weapons through there with the Book and Smith. Now, the real question is Will Howard, is he going to be able to throw and thrive against that Oregon defense? Because I think Ohio State's defense will be able to shut down Oregon a little bit. But can Will Howard go without turning the ball over? Can he make the throws necessary against kind of a tougher competition than they played so far, minus maybe a day against Iowa defensively? Uh, you know, Will Howard got benched at Kansas State for a reason as far as, you know, not necessarily completely benched, but getting ran out the door as far as Avery Johnson getting the reins. So can he get the job done? He's really the only weak link I've seen so far. And I, well, I won't even say weak link, but – I'm a little skeptical of can he hit that deep ball, but we're going to find out this week. As for Oregon, you know, they've done what they needed to do as far as winning, but they haven't done anything just super impressive to me. Barely beat Idaho, barely beat Boise State. Now, Boise State is good, but still barely beating Boise. If you think you're a legit playoff contender, you need to beat Boise by a little more than that. Uh, but then going into Big Ten play, UCLA and Michigan State, both bottom feeders there, but they won. So this is their first real test. Now, Dylan Gabriel – at Oklahoma, I thought he was pretty good. At Oregon, there's been some games he has played really good and the rest of the team has struggled, you know, that first couple games. But he, we know he's going to put up numbers. The thing I think here is can Oregon win and control the turnover battle? Uh, I think Ohio State is the better team, you know, just as a whole, not necessarily saying quarterback-wise, but as a whole, I think almost every other position, Ohio State is probably better. Uh, so I'm going to lean Ohio State here. Now, it is – at Oregon, so that's going to make things a little different here for me. You know, that's a really cross cross country almost travel, so that's going to be a lot different for Ohio State. But I think Ohio State clearly has the edge here. I think they even have the coaching edge, even though a lot of people aren't going to agree with that. Uh, so give me Ohio State here. I think it's going to be close and competitive, but I think Ohio State ends up winning this game by double digits. But who do you think wins this game? Let me know down in the comment section. Subscribe for more.